Hey guys, my name is Rupin Talreja and today I'm going to show you how to install Mac OS X in VMware Player. For this you're going to need some files which I've given you a link in the description. It's a Google Drive link so go ahead and download it. Now remember it's a Google Drive link so it will expire in some time and it has a maximum number of downloads. So if it's expired then please tell me in the comments. When you download it, you will get the following file, the Mac OS X ZipX. Once we are going to open this with WinZip, we will see that um, we have two files, folder and um, ISO file. And I have already extracted them here. You are going to go into VMware Mac Hack and choose your operating system based on Windows, OS X and Linux whichever is whatever you are using I am going to go into windows and please select install CMD and run as administrator please do this or it will not work for you because it needs administrator access and that's it and do press unlock also that too with administrator access and it did it work we'll see here now we're going to create a new virtual machine select the ISO image as the nearest OS X 10.85 press next and you will see an option which you did not have earlier that would be Mac OS X uh, we got this when we installed that install.cmd and go ahead and select Mac OS X 10.8 press next and from here it's a normal virtual machine um, setup I'm going to lot it 100 GB or 110 as it seems and I'm going to keep the default settings and just press finish now it has created the virtual machine. I'm going to change some settings. I'll move the processes to 4 and virtualize these. I'm going to allot it 1.5 GB as I have only 4 GB installed in this machine. Not going to give it to GB um, for the host computer. So just go ahead and play the machine so it will normally take about uh, 5 to 10 minutes to reach the screen and select English and some more waiting and we are going to press continue agree and as we can see there is no drive to install the Mac OS X and we can fix this with a simple thing and most people get stuck here now press utilities on the top here and choose disk utility It's quite slow because I only gave the VM 1.5 GB. You can always give it more if you want, but not more than half of your RAM because then it becomes a little dangerous. And here, actually, we're going to select the VMware virtual disk 118 GB. Okay, and we're going to select erase. And I'm going to name it um, HD HDD one, and it is. It will ask for confirmation. It's partitioning.
Hmm. And we are done. Just exit through disk utility. We'll select this and now we can install the Mac OS. Time remaining about 22 minutes. Okay, so I'll pause here. Hey guys, so we are back and this is the screen we see. We are going to select, I'm going to select United States here, but I am in India, but I'm going to select United States and keyboard layout is US and you may leave your computer and it may go to sleep. There is a chance that you leave uh, during the installation process and when you come back your computer is already in sleep. The Mac, the Mac is at sleep. So you can open up the Mac by typing this username and password that will be here in annotation right here where I'm pointing the mouse and so you can do that if you get stuck and if your computer hangs up in the installation process you can restart it you will most likely um, restore from that point only now we have done the basic steps and please do create a uh, like an account here because if you don't there may be a problem so we let it work and yeah I'll choose India I'll just skip that part and we're done in setting up a Mac but there are still some steps you need to take so please continue watching there are important steps left now this is the first screen we see when we come back and we are in the Mac home screen these notifications will come because uh, the OS has an inbuilt hack system installed basically it's not purely legal stuff and we'll just let it work it will continue saying these repairing permissions and stuff till about um, 30 minutes or so it's it'll, it will take time okay so the Nere software has um, finished installing and we are back and after installing you'll see these three apps uTorrent, Hack Store and something Kext Wizard something never used it and this was all because of the Naresh OS that we chose that's, it. that's in my zip file um, and now you need to take a final step and we are going to install VMware tools for Mac so we need to first eject this CD or basically the ISO file which is uh, which has this t installation file for the OS we don't need it now so right click on the Niresh OS X 10.85 logo and it will give a eject option basically we're going to wait for that And here we have it, the second option, eject, and and that was basically a virtual CD, a ISO file. Now we're going to go into player and manage and our virtual machine settings and select CD, DVD. And now, as you can see, it had the Niresh OS X dot ISO. Now we're going to change it 
and we're going to go into VMware Mac hack folder which we downloaded into tools folder okay and select this ISO darwin.iso this has the Mac uh, VMware tools it makes it a little easier for everyone and it has a simple like installation process and once it's going to load here we'll install that too it will basically align the Mac to your um, display because right now you can't change the display settings and uh, adjust the resolution or anything in the Mac because basically we're running in VMware and it doesn't support VMware so once that CD DVD is selected Darwin.iso you're going to look for this symbol um, like where my mouse is pointing right here and CD DVD and right click on it and connect it's a small blank CD like logo and once it's connected the CD will like open in Mac just like reading the CD in a CD player just virtualized and we're going to load the VMware tools double click on the install VMware tools okay so it's going to pop up here in the um, menu bar and we're going to select it and this will open up we're going to press continue and keep the default HDD1 that we created install is going to ask for the password we are going to select install and continue installation okay we are done and just press restart now once we are back in the Mac so after some time you will be back on the login screen and to adjust the screen size you will just need to press the exit full screen mode and then just pop it back into full screen mode and you'll see that the Mac has, has adjusted itself this is because of the VMware tools so signing in this officially completes the Mac setting up in VMware thanks and subscribe uh, like it or dislike it and if you have any doubts and get stuck anywhere please do post in the comments I'll surely answer them thanks